What's up guys, welcome back to Proxima Reviews. Today we have a Geo portable bike pump with a built-in pressure gauge. So I bought this on Lazada for 299, 300 pesos. Um, to be honest, that's kind of expensive because for portable bike pumps like these, they should go from 100, about 100 more or less. But then I wanted to take a risk on this one because it combined a bike pump and a pressure gauge at the same time. So it's like I don't have to buy a pressure gauge anymore. I just have to buy the bike pump and it comes with a pressure gauge. So probably that's why it's 300. So then let's see how this fares. So this is what you get. This is a Geo bike pump. Right, so it's two-tone and this one doesn't fold up or down this is all you get so that's how you pump it and then this is where you insert your valve there so there's a cover and then when you insert your valve there to lock it in place you have to pull this up so that it's gonna squeeze the rubber so that air won't go out so, so you also get this one uh, you could tie this onto your bike or you can even nail it you could screw it onto your bike so that uh, it's always on your bike so that if you get a flat tire in the middle of the road or if you feel that your uh, tires are pretty soft uh, you could do it anytime you want it also has a lock right here there that goes into this like that so that locks it in place let me show you There you go. That's how you lock it in place. Okay, so at first, I tried this on my bike because my bike had a flat tire. And I was so disappointed at first because what I got, and it was partly my fault, this actually works for the uh, Presta valve. See that? So it's really small. It's I think it's for the road bikes or the racing bikes there so it's really small it's for the presto valve so when i inserted my uh schrader valve of course you could assume that it doesn't work it didn't work on mine but then i found i found out with a little bit of tampering with it trying to make it work even if i know it's not gonna work that this is actually reversible and i guess that justifies a little bit more the 300 peso price tag so there if you take this off and then you take the rubber out so that's where the presta valve right if you take this rubber out there you go you get this what you could do is you could reverse this because look it's a presta valve here but then it kind of fits a schrader valve here so what you do is there you turn it like that so now doesn't that look like the one for the shader valve already yes because it actually is then you insert it back there and then you spin this back and voila you get one for both bikes for the presta valve and the shader valve you get it for both so that's pretty good that's pretty interesting if you ask me and then i was so relieved because finally i could pump my bike my bike's tire and then there it just worked and finally i'm i'm sorry for being so dis disappointed at first but apparently it works both ways so it's even better than i expected oh about the the pressure valve this is the pressure valve on this one see it's on psi so i'll show you how it works all right if i press this really tight and keep the air from coming out and then i push this there you go look it moves it moves 40 that's 50 that's 60. all right that's how it works so when you insert this to your bike's tire it should move depending on how much pressure it has inside therefore it did work it did work as both a uh, a bike pump 
and a pressure gauge. So what I did was I put this into my bike and then I started pumping it. And then as this went up, I wanted mine at 50 PSI. I was able to see it. When it was at 50, I stopped it. So it was really, really efficient for me to just have this one, not have both. Because if you have both, it's a separate piece. You're gonna have to pump, assume it's already there, take it out, put your valve, your pressure gauge in, and then no, it's not yet at 50. Take it out again, put this back, put it out, put your gauge back, Oh no, it's at 60 now. All right, pull it out again, put this back. Let it, uh, let the air go out. Take it out again, put it back. Oh, it's, it's too low. Take it out again, put this back, pump, and then put it back again. Okay, finally it's good. But now what I was able to do was just put this inside and then I pumped it and pumped it until it went at 50. When it was at 50, I was good. I could inflate it a little bit more or maybe decrease the pressure a bit and then I can see it live as it's working. That's why this one for me was a pretty good buy. For 300 pesos, I'm not sure if there's a cheaper one, but I'm happy with it. If it's if that's what you get for paying a little bit extra, if you have the convenience of having two products in one then I'm just kind of happy about it. I hope it was cheaper, but at least it works really well. If you're not going to look at the price and you're just going to look at the product, it works really well. I'll show you a little bit more. I'll show you some more clips on it. Um, after this, I'm going to show you how it works on my bike so that you can see it for real. Right? So, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you can. And if you like my videos, please leave a like. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.